Hello everyone, I hope you are well and safe. This week someone said to me, people create rules just to complicate each other's lives. Is that really it? I agree that sometimes we create too many rules that complicate many things. But have you ever thought if there were no rules? How would it be, for example, a football game without the rules and without a judge to enforce the rules of the game? Or worse, a football game without the lines marking the field limits, the boundaries? It would certainly be impossible to play or even finish a game. Laws exist or should exist to organize people's lives so that it, it is possible to live in society. The laws aim to preserve people's lives, offer security, and guarantee the well-being of society. The principle of the law is the common good over the individual good. So is the law of God for us. Everything that God determines is in his word has as purpose the common good of his, his children and the preservation of our spiritual integrity. King David said something about the law of God in his psalm. He said, The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. David, in this psalm, is speaking about the Word of God. He calls the Word of God as the law of the Lord, or the testimony of the Lord, the precepts of the Lord, and also the commandments of the Lord. Unfortunately, many people ignore the Word of God. I have often heard that the world we live in is very different from the one portrayed in the Bible, and so scriptures no longer apply to us. So it's not coincidence that we live in such a difficult days, because when creature ignores the word of the Lord, the consequences are disasters. However, when we receive and submit ourselves to the word of God, we experience the Lord's blessings upon our lives. In this psalm, David presents four virtues of the word of God and four blessings resulting, resulting from it. First, he says that the law of the Lord or the word of God is perfect and revives the soul. Then he says that it's sure and makes wise the simple. He also says that it's right and rejoice the heart and it's pure and illuminates the eyes. Ah, if the world knew that, how our lives would be better. If people accepted God's instructions and kept it in your, their heart, instead of feeling st tired, they would experience a renewal of the soul. Instead of making wrong decisions, they would be wise. Instead of feeling sad, they would have joy in their hearts. Instead of walking without direction, they would have their eyes lift up to choose, to choose the right path. The good news is that the Word of God is available to everyone who wants to hear it. God speaks through His nature, nature revelation, that is His creation, that reflects the greatness of His power, but God also speaks directly to us through his special revelation that is recorded in the scriptures. Do you want to hear God's voice to your life? Do you want to have your soul renewed, wisdom to make right decisions, joy in your heart, and do you want to see, to have your eyes enlightened to see the great love of God? 
then approach the Word of God and you will find Him and you will be blessed by Him. God bless you. Have a good week.